We're in today with the ATI Radeon HD 4350. This is a 2008 video card with 80 shaders. It's got one gig of VRAM DDR2 running at 600 megahertz on the core clock and 400 megahertz on the memory clock. It's got 64 bits bus width, DirectX 10.1. And today we're going to pair it up with this i7 4 gen with four cores and eight threads. This is not a great video card. This is not even a video card. I will call it a display adapter. Regardless, today, the best thing we can do for it is jump in a couple of games and see how it holds. Let's go. Okay, let's start with World of Tanks. I got the lowest resolution in the game with this uh, video card. Uh, I'm hesitating to call it a video card. I have minimal uh, graphics quality, 1024 and 85% render scale. And I think this is not enough, so I'm going to put it to 70% render scale. Let's try to see if I can get 60 FPS constant, you know. That's the most important thing here to get uh, minimal FPS. I mean, come on, look at this. It fluctuates between 50 and 60 FPS uh, on uh, average. It's got uh, nearly 500 megabytes of VRAM utilization. That's actually good because it's using that DDR2, you know, but uh, very hard to have uh, playable games online you know it's it's hard on this you know i'm not gonna lie it's hard on this and uh, to make it work it's a challenge you know it's like the moment you found the games for this the moment you set up the games properly so you can enjoy the game and it doesn't look that uh, garbage you know you get a degree you become certified on setting up a computer setting up uh, games with uh, a specific hardware the most important thing is that this uh, game is utilized utilizing 500 megabytes of uh, VRAM, uh, maximum core load on the video card. I put an external fan on the side in order to make this uh, video card cool. It's got 53 degrees. This is a passive cooled uh, video card and uh, doesn't have a, a fan on it. You know, it's just a radiator and it's not okay. You know, you need a fan on a video card like this. One game that is running on this video card, Team Fortress, 720p, lowest details, you get uh, 60 FPS. I'm not utilizing uh, too much VRAM because it's not utilizing too much VRAM. So in this situation, you can clearly see that the, the video card is capable of delivering the FPS. Only 267 megabytes of VRAM utilization and uh, maximum core load. Seriously, what is 29%? I think that's the fan speed. No, that's actually weird to see this. 47 in some situation. The moment you start uh, fighting or going on the map, you get uh, less than 60 FPS. This is weird, you know, but it's doing the job. Oh, no. Uh, in some situation I got playable FPS, in some situation it drops to 40 FPS. But uh, all in all, he's doing a fantastic job, you know. Everybody's sniping, everybody's not uh, doing nothing. Look at this. What are you all doing? There's a fight, who cares? Let's party. <laughs> 35 fps when there's a lot of people in the crowd here hear me out i got call of duty here with 720p with low details yes i got 111 watts consumption from the whole computer this is interesting seriously this is an interesting performance considering what uh, game i have here i think this is the most important uh, task today is to find games that actually works with nearly 60 fps if i have 60 fps i will call it today i think in order to get the best uh, performance here from this video card is to drop down from 720p and uh, run with uh, maybe 1024 or something like that not 800 by 600 because that's a horrible resolution but uh, 1024 will be okay only 127 megabytes of vram utilization not even 200 megabytes of vram utilized here considering it has got one gig of vram i will call this a big win from this video card the system on the other hand doesn't have any problem 4.2 gig of uh, system ram utilized here with only 15 watts consumption from the cpu <laughs> i mean this is an overkill this i7 4 gen you know but uh, it's definitely an interesting uh, thing to see in a game like this you know but if we're jumping in paladins with this uh, video card and the system you can actually see on 720p with low i got only 30 fps okay so in order to fix this i'm gonna adjust here the render scale to maybe 50 percent or let's try to 50 percent you know if you're interested on in playing some games online this is how it needs to be i only use 141 megabytes of vram this is actually good from the video card temperature is good on the video card with my external fan but uh paladins knows how to utilize this video card i mean it's using uh, a potato of a video card in order to play properly this game seriously not gonna 
gonna lie, there's not a lot of games that runs like this with a video card like this. Can't say nothing bad about it because it's it does work. This is not meant for playing online, you know. If you want to play games online, you definitely need a proper video card. But in this case, you can actually see that uh, Paladins is working just a little with this. When it comes to Fallout, this video card on 720p with low details barely holds uh, 50 FPS, seriously. I mean, uh, 720p, I know I can go a little lower on the resolution and I will get uh, better uh, performance. I think there is 4x3 that allows you to go even lower in the resolution, but I just wanted to come on 720p and see as a generic resolution how it's running. That is uh, 16 by 9 or something on aspect ratio. And this is very interesting. Thing because I only got 100 megabytes of uh, VRAM utilization, 3.8 gig of system RAM use, and uh, less than 10% uh, load on the CPU. CPU has no problem and barely 15 watts consumption. You know, overall wattage consumption, look at that, I think 100 watts. This video card doesn't utilize external power. I just put a fan on the side. Uh, I think that's two watts because uh, yeah, I want the video card cool because it's uh, passive. It doesn't have a radiator on it. And in this case, I can see that I got uh, 53 degrees now on low details fallout it's okay you know this is how i was playing back in the days <laughs> i didn't have medium details or high details you know on a laptop on an old machine on an old video card and stuff like that so this is my settings that i had back in the days you know 40 fps same fps but i need to show you how this video card is working even though this uh, performance is triggering my nostalgia even though it doesn't look okay i still think that 50 fps with a video card like this it's it's okay you know i will still play the game like this so there is no question you know because it's uh my experience in driver apparently with 720p with medium details let's see how it's running because this is gonna be very interesting i did try uh, maximum details and i had the 30 40 fps in this situation i got 50 fps and it's a playable uh, experience seriously in this occasion with uh, this video card it's uh, very hard to find the right games that actually work with a video card like this you know it's very important to understand that this video card is not capable of uh, playing too many games but uh, i tried to play a couple of them online to see if it's possible to start online you know but i'm 100 percent sure this video card will be ideal on uh, an older machine with uh, a retro game older titles like this you know like driver i put uh, 720p because uh, i wanted to see the generic resolution at first i tried to with maximum details and uh it was lagging 30 40 fps even now it's got 30 40 fps the view distance doesn't help me in this occasion but it's cool to see video cars like this running in uh, titles like this the question is does it run crisis 1024 lowest details apparently i got uh, nearly 30 fps i call this a big win i uh, utilizing 400 megabytes of uh, vram maximum code load i will say this is a big win for this video card look at this feels very cinematic with 30 fps you know i got 121 watts consumption from the computer <laughs> this is a big win 54 degrees on the video card even this uh, fan it's uh, getting its money's worth seriously i'm very proud of this video card that it managed to put uh, 30 fps if i zoom uh, on with the scope you know you can see that is dropping to 27 fps but uh, it's sometimes it's even over uh, 30 fps for an old video card like this i will call this a big win you know for a potato display adapter i'll call this a win for a video card that is for free i will call this a win because this one came in with a computer and i took it out and uh, it was just there you know <laughs> it, i'm not joking this was used as a display adapter for a for a computer that was operating a machine it was not used for gaming it was not used for nothing machines that operates you know with a computer they require fanless no fan video cards you know passive cool because you don't need very little moving parts in that computer because of dust environment on machinery you know that is operating with that machine and in this case this 4350 was actually ideal for that job to ask the question does it run crisis on it is just pure me you understand but it's doing with 30 fps and if, if i had this uh, game on that computer <laughs> you know to just waste time i would have played crisis with 30 fps i would have put even 800 
by 600. I'm actually curious now. 45 FPS. This is the biggest win ever I get with this video card. 390 megabytes of uh, VRAM utilized, 4.6 gig of system RAM used, and 25 watt consumption from the CPU. Galaxy on fire. Yes, I got uh, 1080p with uh, lowest details, and you can actually see that if you want to play a game in space, trading, mining, and stuff like that, you can see that the, the video card is capable of delivering between 40 and 60 fps depending on what quality you accept because if you don't like the 40 50 fps there is still room from 1080p to drop it to 720p or lower resolution but i just wanted to show you on 1080p how the video card looks and how the game is uh, performing here you know this is the type of game that needs to be added on a video card like this you can see that is running really nice very fluent the frame time is okay you know with barely any hiccups and uh, spikes in the game i will call this game one of those that needs to be added on a video card like this you know this is one of those games that uh, is holding pretty well with this video card even though it's on low details with 1080 ATP, you can see that the between 30 40 fps can be adjusted in such a way that you can put uh, 60 fps i think that if you're interested on in getting a video card like this you have to really rethink your choices you know this is not something that you go somewhere and put money down and you say i want an hd 4350 if you go into a computer shop and you say guys i want to buy an hd 4350 they will say no they will give you something else for free that is 10 times better than this video card. I'm 100% sure. If you take this HD 4350 and you disable it in this device manager and you just run Intel HD 4600 from this i7 4th gen, I think you have a higher chance on actually working better. If you look at the performance this video card is got, what games you can play on the video card, I think that the benchmark was, or the test, today was about selecting the games not the performance of the video card if you find it for free keep it it's a good uh, main board tester it's a good monitor tester it's a good spare video card but only for free if you pay money for something like this if you pay money for something like this you have to rethink your life choices seriously if somebody says i'll give it for for cheap no 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 you have to pay me all jokes aside this is a very interesting video card to have in the library because it's an old video card and it doesn't have a lot of specs but uh, i had to test it because it's a video card you know and i have a computer i have the games and i wanted to see and show you what uh, it can do and what is best for it you know, if I take this video card and put it in my Windows XP machine with all games, it will do a fantastic job because it was designed for games like that, you know, or for tasks like that. Today, this is something uh, that uh, nobody will take in, in consideration because it's not worth it, you know, even the money, time and something like that. But if you want to build a machine and you have it, it's awesome. If you can find it cheap or for free, I think no, not cheap, for free, it will be ideal for an old uh, retro machine. That's it. If you have any suggestion for this uh, display adapter, leave a comment and I will see you very soon.